Hello guys, uh, today we will start the Audiometallurgy course. Uh, I have a course instructor of this course. And uh, what you should know about the powder metallurgy is that powder metallurgy is a main task in, in, in a lot of industries, in manufacturing industries and in other industries. So you should know about the powder metallurgy before your job. So what is powder metallurgy? Uh, we will know, uh, we will uh, came to know after reading this course. The course contents are introduction to powder metallurgy, production of metallic powders techniques, metallic fabrication, chemical fabrication, electrolytic fabrication, atomization techniques, production of different metal powders, powder, powder characterization techniques, particle size measurement, surface area analysis, microstructure control in powder. Kinetics of solidification powders, powder handling and purity modification. Shaping and compaction of powder, lubricants and binders for powder compaction and shaping. Shaping methods for powders, injection molding of the powders, dye compaction of powders, extrusion and cold isostatic compaction for shaping the powders, hot isotropic compaction for shaping the powders and consolidation fundamentals. After that we will study about the sintering methods for powders, sintering fundamentals, solid state and liquid state sintering, enhanced sintering techniques, full density processing sintering atmospheres, characterization of sintered components, finishing operations, Structural and force components, mechanical properties and testing properties and applications of compacts. So these are the course contents. The textbook we will use for our course is ASM Handbook 7 Power Powder Metal Techniques and Application. The reference book is Powder Metallurgy Science by Randall M. German. Metal Power Industry 2nd edition and all these given in the slides. So you can read from the slides and you can download the books or you can buy a hard copy from uh, your nearest book center or you, or you can order from Amazon. Uh, this is the grading policy which is not uh, which is not a part of our online course. It is a part of our classroom course uh, which we uh, study which, uh, in the classroom in our university. So powder and powder metallurgy. In this lecture we will, uh, we will introduce you to the powder and powder metallurgy. The powder metallurgy finally divided solid. Finally divided solids are powders size less than one millimeter. So the finally divided solid is powder. The size of powder is less than one millimeter. The used in elemental form are combined with ceramic or polymer. So powders are used in elemental form are combined with ceramic or polymer. We can combine them with ceramic we can combine them with polymer uh, we are talking about the metal powders here that we can combine the metal powders with ceramics as well as polymers powders have high surface area to volume ratio so what does this mean is that powders have very tiny diameter powder are very tiny shapes so they have very high surface area and volume ratio that uh, when you take a very high, very uh, uh, when you take a very large ball and when you take uh, make powders of that large ball, the large ball will have less surface area and less uh, surface area to volume ratio than the small tiny particles uh, that were made from that large ball. So. Uh, after that we will study the effect of high surface area to volume ratio on properties mm, the effect uh, the effects are uh, the
the effects that uh, the effects that uh, the effect the effects that affect the properties are can be mainly hardness can be mainly uh, ductility etc uh, after that we will study that uh, what does powder metallurgy means what is uh, the definition of powder metallurgy so powder metallurgy is a branch of science and engineering which deals with processing fabrication characterization of metallic powders and making useful engineering components from it so processing of powders fabrication of powders and characterization of metallic powders we are dealing mainly with metallic powders in this course and behaviors between the solids and liquids is also a part of powder metallurgy reasons for using powder metallurgy we will cover this in the next video so subscribe to our channel and keep visiting our channel